just hours before it was to take effect, a Clinton-appointed federal judge delayed implementation of several key provisions of Arizona's controversial new immigration law. Among the measures not going into effect is the requirement that officers check a person's immigration status while enforcing other laws. Newsmax caught up with the self-proclaimed America's toughest sheriff not long before the ruling came down. Let's check in with Maricopa County, Arizona Sheriff Joe Arpaio. This morning, we raided another uh, business and arrested five more illegal aliens with false identification. On Thursday, uh, we're going to do our 17th crime suppression operation and go out with our volunteer posse and deputy sheriffs and catch criminals. And we've done 17 or 16. Uh, just by chance, about two-thirds happen to be here illegally that have committed other crimes. If, uh, if, uh, what do you intend to do if the federal government, including ICE, refuses to cooperate with your handoff of illegals to that organization? That's a good question. Uh, there's been some rumbles uh, that maybe ICE will not take uh, the uh, illegal aliens uh, off the hands of law enforcement. Uh, so we may have a little problem, but not that big because most of the time we arrest illegal aliens, we have them on another, another charge, we book them into our jail. Now, we also have a program in the jail called 287G, uh, and if they stop after people do their time and we have them deported, if they don't accept uh, many of those people that are going to be deported, the only alternative is they may be released on the streets. So let's see what the uh, federal government does. Uh, I know they're not happy with this new law. They're not happy with me because I had 100 deputies trained by the Homeland Security, trained to work on the streets and function as federal officers, but they took that away when the uh, new administration took office. Do you believe that it would be helpful for President Obama to come and go down to Pinell County as uh, Sheriff Babu invited him today again to see what's happening Why would he go there? to Pinell County? Well, We're, we're, we're bigger than all counties put together. We've locked up 40,000 people. Why does he come to uh, Maricopa County to talk to the sheriff that he himself doesn't like since they're investigating me well, what, 60, I mean, why doesn't he come and see the sheriff? Well, that he would eventually get here if he started on the border and saw what's happening with all the trash and, and the people that are coming over. Do you think it would be something that no. would help us? You know, you know this, what is it, symbolic? That he knows what a border is. Of course, I spent 14 years at the border mm -hmm. as the head of the federal drug enforcement on Mexico City. I can go on and on. No one's invited me, including Republicans, U.S. Senators, no one has asked me my opinion as to what uh, I would do if I was the president, but that's okay. I'm not concerned about that. I know what we are doing, but to say the president should take a tour of the border, well, okay. But I, th I think he knows. He watches television. He do talks to Janet Napolitano. I think he knows where the Mexican-U.S. border is. So just to say, let him come down, that's not going to solve the problem. For the president getting in a jeep along with a little show that everybody, all the politicians are going to the border. You do know that. Oh, sure. They found out where the border is. So I'm uh, not trying to be sarcastic, uh, but uh, uh, it's, it's a big enough. If you want to have the president come down to the border, uh, I do realize that he did invite the Cambridge uh, police sergeant, Massachusetts, for arresting the college professor and the racial profiling was thrown in there. So he invited both of them to the White House. So we're gonna have they had a little beer. No, why doesn't he invite me to the White House? I'm accused of racial profile, and I have all those years' experience in Mexico City and Turkey. Why doesn't he invite me to the White House? We'll have a little wine and throw a little basketball. Tequila. I'm from Springfield, Mass., so we, I, I think I'll beat him in eggs. But why doesn't he invite the sheriff? There's a lot of media reports recently that a lot of uh, Hispanics are moving out of mm -hmm. Phoenix this weekend with the garage sales, and is that just hype? It's or? hype. Okay. Come on. They have garage sales every week. 
go into any neighborhood, Hispanic neighborhood, they have garage sales. So maybe a couple of people don't have garage sales, they're uh, moving out, come on. A lot of them are moving out. I'd like to take a little credit of that in mm -hmm. the last two years because they're accusing me of breaking up families. They're accusing me that people don't want to go to church. They don't want to go to schools because they worry about the sheriff coming in and arresting people that are here illegally. That's okay. Consequently, many people have. Of course, they don't all go to Mexico. They go to the sanctuary state called California in other states where they don't care about illegal immigration. But many of them are moving out, uh, moving out back to their home country, and that's great. Now let's get the proper paperwork and come into this country legally. That's great if they'll do that. Last question. You put out a special statement this afternoon about some civil disobedience, mm -hmm. some in intel that you're getting. What do you anticipate? What can you share? Well, first of all, I'm doing my 17th crime suppression. People say, why are you doing it on the day that the law may be put in effect? Well, should I wait? We've been enforcing the other state illegal immigration laws, and we're still the only ones doing it, and the former prosecutor, Tom, is prosecuting. Why are we the only ones enforcing the human smuggling and employer sanction? That's another issue. But uh, we're going to continue our job. Now, the, there's a rumor that they're going to block our jails down the street. Well, you know what? They're not going to block our jails. They're going, they're going into the jail if they block our jail. I'm not going to succumb to these demonstrators keeping law enforcement from booking people in our jail. So we may have to take some action. And then also I'm doing the crime suppression, and I'm sure there'll be many demonstrators like they're always out there every time we do a crime suppression. 